Camelot 331 here, and guess what is on the menu today, boys and girls, of the Famelot, Lowe's is doing something that is so unbelievably illegal, and I can't believe that it exists. Now, GameStop's done some pretty weird stuff, Walmart's done some pretty weird stuff, borderline illegal, probably illegal. This, that I'm about to show you guys, is, and there's evidence and photos and everything that I'll have later on in the video. And I guarantee you, you've never heard of something like this. This is the most egregious and illegal thing I've ever seen Lowe's do to try to fire people that have been with the company for a long time so they can basically pay somebody new for less. Just like uh, GameStop's Legacy Delete program, where they'll fire old-ass employees that have been there for years and years because they make a lot salary-wise or a lot an hour, and they'll hire somebody in for half the price. And how Lowe's is doing this, allegedly, is in damn sane. And I'm going to show you everything I have here in a moment. I also got a bunch of messages to go through. It's happening to a lot of people. So before we get into it, make sure you give this video a big old juicy thumbs up, doodle. And make sure you subscribe if you have not. That's real important. Because we have to give you, as well, a voice. So follow me on Instagram and Twitter and message me right now. So first message, it says, I worked at Lowe's up until recently and I was fired a few weeks ago. I've been thinking about messaging you for a while. I went in for my normal shift and was fired for having too many write-ups. The thing is, <laughs> now pay attention to this. The thing is, I have never been written up. So I have no idea what happened. They wouldn't elaborate. So I left. It was a life suck and the job caused me depression because of how things were going. I have more info if you want. So basically, basically Lowe's in the last couple years, ever since Marvin, the CEO, took over, the morale has just nosedived. Marvin basically got rid of several positions, several commission-based structures that pretty much destroyed the entire company morale-wise. There was employees making $50,000 a year, $60,000 a year, a great livable wage off certain commissions for being salesmen, and it was all wiped out. All of it was wiped out. And then they promised they wouldn't take off the incentive on top of it, what they, what they replaced it with, and then they wiped that out too. <laughs> so they pretty much destroyed most of these employees' lives. Not to mention their hours getting cut every single day. Not to mention their pay getting cut. And not to mention them getting fired for insane bogus ass reasons, which you're about to see. Now, here's the next message. So let's take a look at this right here. It says, so I worked at Lowe's and have been for the past 12 years and I got fired today. No idea why. I've never missed a day. Always did my work to the best of my ability. Got along with everyone. Which was like me at GameStop. I never missed a day. Never got written up. And then one day, it was over for sitting at my desk. So same type of situation here. He goes on to say, I truly love my job, and it kind of got bad recently, but I was determined to stick it out. Well, I came in and immediately was met by my manager, which has only been working at my store for a short time. He told me they saw me messing with the shelves before I clocked in. The only thing I could think was I was shopping because I purchased a lot of stuff from Lowe's. He then told me that I was fired for working off the clock. I couldn't believe it, 12 years down the drain. And this sounds really familiar. This sounds really familiar. Me sitting at my desk making schedules for my employees constitutes time card fraud. I was apparently stealing time by doing my job. Same thing with this guy. He was just looking around the damn store shopping, looking at stuff on shelves. They used that reason to fire him because he's been with the company for 12 years. But how did they fire him? How are they able to legally just fire this dude with no write-ups? How? I asked him why I wasn't even written up. He said that I had been written up before for it recently. And that was why I was fired. Shocking. So apparently he's already been written up for the exact same thing. He goes on to say, but I had not been written up. He wouldn't show me my write-up and made me leave the store. I don't know what to do, so I saw your videos and figured I would reach out. It sounds to me like these write-ups that keep happening to people are BS. The last message, the guy said he was fired for too many write-ups, but there wasn't any write-ups. <laughs> he said himself, there wasn't any write-ups. So what's going on? This guy, the second message, same exact thing. He'd been working there for 12 years, never missed a damn day. He's a, apparently a superhero 
and they fired him after 12 years. And I can tell you why they were looking for a reason to fire him. That's because they wanted to get somebody in there at a much lower rate. That's what's going on here. It's pretty obvious. A lot of corporate companies do this, and uh, our workers' rights don't exist in this situation. They can just fire you. But how are they doing these write-ups? How are these write-ups? Do they even exist? Well, time for the most egregious example possible that is out there, and it's going to blow your damn mind. Are you guys ready for this? Look at this right here. Look at this is def this is super illegal, by the way. So check this out. I have been with Lowe's since 2015. Never once been written up. I was working 70 plus hours a week because we were allowed to work all the overtime we wanted because the vendors pay our wages and not the store. I would normally work 5 to 3 p.m., then go home and let my dogs out and let them play, then go back to work like 5 to 11 p.m. every day and would work 16 hours on Saturday and Sunday. So this dude was committed as hell, working his ass off for Lowe's. My manager, Mike, would go home and not go in each day and fix my red boxes, and he got his ass chewed out because all the other store managers were having to fix the entire week every Saturday. So he got pissed and took it out on me. He kept making new rules concerning overtime. We had to pre-schedule it a week in advance with him first. Then we couldn't leave early, even an hour, even if it's hour 19 of your shift, and maybe I finally tire out. Too bad you've agreed to working it, and you would be held accountable. Well, I sent him a text on August 24th and told him I was going to go into work at 4 a.m. instead of 5. I was wide awake and wanted to leave because it was Monday morning and I wanted to print the planograms and locate the flooring I need for the reset before anyone got there. I didn't clock in at 4 a.m. because he made it to where I couldn't, so I told him I'll wait till 5 a.m. to clock in so he couldn't hold it against me. So he waited. But instead, he went to his boss and said I worked an hour off the clock and they twisted it around, making it a Class A violation. So Sean fired me, which is Mike's boss because Mike was covering for his own ass. So notice the situation. It's like all the situations. Time card fraud. Oh, well, you clocked in an hour early when he actually didn't. But what else happens here? And what pictures am I going to show? He said I was previously written up in January, and that was an initial warning. I knew for a fact that never happened. I tried to request the write-up from the home office, and they refused to send it to me, telling me, and said I had to get a lawyer to subpoena it. Well, my unemployment was denied. Shocking. Wow. Sounds like another company we know. Then I got paperwork from Lowe's attorneys with the write-up. 100% forged signature looks nothing like my handwriting we did not go into an office nothing all they had to do was pull the camera up and see what happened just like i said so he must have wrote me up after and signed it himself and i didn't know until the day i was fired no write-up nothing just fired but mike was letting two other employees leave and not clock out to get food all the time and the investigator admitted she saw that and it was being dealt with. Ooh, doubt it. I'm even high risk for the C virus. I had my spleen removed as a kid because it ruptured and I can't fight off infections at all. And my doctor already told me the virus would kill me quick. But I still came to work like a good boy <laughs> and for nothing. So he was going hard, doing everything he could to make sure he was doing his work at Lowe's, working some overtime, doing everything, everything in his power to be a good boy. And they said he was written up previously, so they fired him. This is the third story in a row where they, there's write-ups that don't exist. And he said, it looks forged. Well, what do you think? Let's take a gander at this write-up, this guy's actual write-up. And uh, you'll see exactly, exactly how hilarious it is. Right when you see, you're, you'll know. You'll know. Check this out. Okay, look at this right here. This is his actual signature. Right here, right here, printed, and then his signature. Look how consistent his signature is. Look at his signature. He said I could use his name, by the way, so just chill out. This is his signature. You see it every single time. It's very consistent, actually. There's his signature. Now let's take a look <laughs> at the write-up, guys. Look at this. So here's the write-up right here. Do you see anything kind of strange about this? You see anything kind of strange about this? There's his signature, the one we were looking at that's on all of his personal documents right here. This is the one that was signed on the uh, the write-up. You can even tell. Like, look at, look at, 
the pin strokes and everything. Come on. So Lowe's a hundred percent forged this dude's name on a write-up and just topped up everything and topped up all the dates. I like how it says 341 AM. Like he did like the manager did this literally at home, like during the AM hours trying to cover his own ass. Literally forged it. Look at this. This is a hundred percent forged. And remember all the other stories where they're saying they're getting written up all the time. They've worked there for a long time and they're getting written up all the time and getting fired for it. This is why they're just forging the hell out of these damn signatures. That's it. So just like GameStop's legacy delete program, just like it, exactly like it. You've been working here for a long time. We're going to fire your ass for it. And what are those lows doing? All right. At least GameStop will just make up some dumbass rule that doesn't exist and then fire you for that. No, no. Lowe's is literally just forging documents to get people out of the store. And who's going to stop them? Let's be honest. A lot of you might think, well, they can't be allowed to do that, right? Who the hell is going to stop them? Because no one knows until now. So spread this video to everybody you can. Because everybody deserves a voice. And you can message me too on Instagram and Twitter and follow me on there. And we can spread all the stuff. And if Lowe's thinks this isn't true and they didn't forge this... They can come out and make a statement saying they don't do this. And that would be easy as done. <laughs> you think I'm lying. You think these people are lying. Well, go ahead and make a statement that you didn't do this. Okay, easy as that. We're done. We can end the video now. <laughs> so make sure you guys check out my streams Monday, Wednesday, and Saturday at 8.30 p.m. Message me on all the stuff. You deserve a voice. We'll get your damn story out there as best as we can and take care of you. And do, do me a big favor, by the way. Make sure you get the hell on it. Doggone it. Bye. Yeah. LaCroix. Yeah, this isn't mine. Somebody left this on my desk. Shit's disgusting.